Good morning. Wow, what a beautiful Monday, April 11th. Let's usher this day in with prayer, shall we? So Father, we thank you. Let this day bring forth joy, happiness, kindness, gentleness, meekness, self-control. Yes, Lord, we would like to become a disciple, followers of Christ. So we'd like to discipline ourselves, our body, our mind, our spirit. Help us in Jesus' name. We're going to talk about discipline today. Discipline your body, or some of the verses, harden your body. I didn't know disciplining was hardening your body. This is word of the Lord from 1 Corinthians 9, 24 through 27. You know that many runners enter a race. And only one of them wins the prize. So run to win. And every man that strives in the games of exercise, self-control in all things, not they do it to receive corruptible crown, but we and incorruptible. I therefore run like that as not uncertainty. I fight like that as not beating the air. I harden my body with blows and bring it under complete control to keep myself from being disqualified after having called others to the contest. Wow, harden my body, disciplining my body. I bruise my body, bruise my body. Ooh, how do you discipline by bruising your body? We're gonna talk about discipline later, but this is interesting text. Um, what is Paul envisioning as he's talking about this? Matthew Henry, wow. Matthew Henry is the commentary that I used when I first became Christian. And I, I read, um, extensively of all the New Testament when I was 18. <laughs> so 42 years later, I'm going back to Matthew Henry. See, he's uh, giving a little more uh, color to not just text, 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 but uh, the culture of the time, and especially uh, the trend of the time. So he's saying that Apostle compare himself to the racers and combatants in the Ishmael games of well-known in the city of Corinth, right? So what is this Ishmael game? Well, according to Wikipedia, and I could use Wikipedia because it's not a PhD, but according to Wikipedia, the first Ishmael games were held at 582 B.C. <laughs> and this city of Corinth has been situated, especially the city that they held was at a place where the land traffic and the sea port was very near. So a lot of popular among with Athenians and they just come and enjoy and the wreath of crown was given and also lots of money, 100 drachmas. So people came for glory, came for money. Uh, and of course that involves running and all kinds of race. So he, Paul is trying to contextualize his teaching through the people in Corinth. That's the, the very birthplace and popular for 500 years. 200 more years than American history. So think of that. In that context, it's just crazy, right? So you know that the runners enter the race and they what? Discipline, right? Many runners enter the race, discipline. Why do they discipline? Why? For the prize, rewards. The gold medal, silver medal. And for that, I press on. 
I push myself. Why? Because you could be disqualified. So that's, see, that's the part. It's like, oh, I don't want to discipline myself. I don't want to do it. I just want an easy life. I just want to enter the race and don't do anything. It's like I enter a spiritual warfare, but I don't want to fight. I want to disclaim that there's no war. Well, in the game of race, you disqualify. In the game of war, you die. So when you know that many runners enter the race, this famous race, and how, what, what people do, they exercise self-control, right? Every man, every runner that enters the game exercise self-control. It's temperate. You don't do whatever you like to do, but no, you discipline. The Aramaic Bible says, but every man who does not who does competi competition strains, restrains his mind from everything. And the word press on uh, implies that it is yet to be required, acquired. It is yet to be acquired. Uh, because you have not yet obtained, you press on. Paul says over and over and over again, right? Telling to Timothy 6.12, 1 Timothy 6.12, fight a good fight of faith. Take hold of the eternal life. Take hold of it. You have not have yet had it. 2 Timothy 2.5, likewise, competitor does not receive the crown unless he competes. Unless you actually run the race, you cannot keep it. Uh, 2 Timothy 4, 7, and 8, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Right? And when the chief shepherd appears, even according to Peter, he's going to give you the crown. Wow. In other verses, Paul says, in fear and trembling, complete your salvation. In fear and trembling. Why are you disciplining yourself to receive this promise? Here, the context is salvation. What are you doing today? That self-discipline that hardens your body. Right? Uh, New Heart English Bible says of 26, I therefore run like that, not as uncertainty. I don't fight like beating the air. We must, New Testament says, that is how I run, not being any doubt as to my goal, I am a boxer who does not inflict blows on the air. <laughs> inflict blows in the air. Wow. So the sense of self-discipline, sense of, um, I mean, think it like a marathon runner. I mean, personally, I mean, for me, I started exercising pretty rigorously, beginning of my fasting. And I start building my lat swimming. It's a 25 meter half size of um, Olympic size pool. I start doing, I don't know, 15 minutes for me to, without taking a rest, just going back and forth for 15 minutes was enough. And then I raise it to 30 minutes. And then I raise to 60 minutes. And now I've been doing 100 minute lap swimming nonstop for now last about 10 days, I think it's 10 days. So I get up to my recording gospel, daily gospel and leave here at 5.55 AM. And I arrive at my pool by 6 AM. I'm always first one to sign in. There's a little uh, girl there, a uh, receptionist. She doesn't even let me sign. She said, it's okay. I'll sign you in because <laughs> I'm always the 6 a.m., you know, age 1 to 9, Bob, you know, one for swimming. And I stay there next 100 minutes, exactly 100 minutes, get out, you know, and walk out. 
And to, for me, it's amazing actually that I could swim one hour, 40 minutes nonstop. And I've been doing the 10 days. How is it possible? Just 20 days ago, I could only do 15 minutes. Why? Because you self-discipline, right? harden your body. I like the word, um, I harden my body. Actually, uh, the other verse said, I bruise my body. Wow, I discipline my body so that I will not, after having called you, that I will not be disqualified. That's the part that Paul is driving at. Do you know what discipline means? Literally, you know, why do you think they said bruising? How does that work? Why would they translate, translate, translate this as literal standard version is bruise my body? Because discipline literally means to, to hit under the eye. Okay, bam, you hit yourself under the eyes and you have a bruise under the eye. Why? Uh, that's what discipline is. It's not something that is done nicely or uh, uh, easily. It is, it takes a toll, you know. I don't know how long I could continue. Maybe if I have access to a pool like uh, Cambodia, I will continue to swim. But the moment you don't exercise like that, well, then you're gonna tank in that. You have to start all over again, starting from 15 minutes, build it all the way up to 100 minutes. I, I try to, if you swim 100 minutes in my pace, it's about three kilo, it's about two miles, 1.86. And actually the Ironman um, triathlon, it's two mile swim in the ocean and then 120 mile bike and then full marathon, 26. So that's crazy. Uh, but at least I will qualify for swimming if I could uh, consistently swim two miles. And so I've been doing that. I've been doing about three kilo, 1.86 miles every day. Why? Because I hit myself in the eye, bruise myself. Why? So that I will not find spurious, spurious, fake. Pulpit commentary says, well, that you will not disqualify. This metaphor derived from the testing of metals and casting aside those which are spurious. Spurious is fake or false. Spurious spirituality, spurious theology, spurious life is a fake. It's not real. So when you test it, he's saying that I don't want to be found disqualified. I start with this question this morning. Are you disciplining your body to win the race? Are you in fear and trembling complete your salvation? Is there theology in your mind that not once say always say that's just erroneous that's not what i believe can you lose your salvation absolutely because people walk away from faith all the time i'm talking about missionaries i'm talking about pastors who no longer want to believe why would they go to heaven if they walk away from faith and live like god doesn't exist live like them that they, they are the God. They only live for themselves. Paul says, you know that many runners enter the race. Only one of them was at the price. So run to win. Do not disqualify yourself. Do not fight. Do not run the race. Do not become like a boxer who beat the air without any objective goals. So Father God, come, and Holy Spirit God, come. Fill us, touch us, that we will not live a false, fake faith, but we will genuinely be touched by your Spirit, Lord, today. In Jesus' name, amen. Lord bless you, love you. See you tomorrow. Mwah.